Hey everyone, uh, this is Sean from Zen Auto Works uh, in Calgary, Canada. Um, today we're in a uh, 2000 Subaru Impreza STI. It's uh, commonly known as the Bug Eye. Uh, the first of the new generation uh, Impreza's from Japan. Um, this car is currently done just over 100,000 kilometers. Um, it was bought from our exporter in Japan and uh, we bought it for stock here in Calgary. And I uh, thought I'd take you guys for a drive. Um, the car is in uh, really good shape. Um, it doesn't look like it has a hundred thousand kilometers on it on the inside or the outside really um, it's been well cared for in Japan and uh, yeah anyways um, we'll start her up that's just the toll reader uh, telling you to stick your card in for Japan, obviously, won't do anything here in Canada for us. Your Bug Eye STIs are uh, a total different breed from the first gen in Prezes. These cars <laughs> are, um, I would say, a bit more mature feeling. They got a little bit more turbo leg, it's a larger turbo. Um, these cars basically are more of a highway vehicle. The old Impreza's didn't really impress on the highway, they impressed in the city. Uh, this car is more akin to like a Celica GT4, which I find is more of a highway car, uh, especially the ST205s. That's where uh, you can stretch its legs out and get that turbo going. Um, there's quite a bit of turbo leg in this car until you hit around 3,500, 4,000 RPM. And uh, then they really fly. We're out on some uh, twisty roads here. We do like to test drive every single vehicle that comes in um, before we actually do an out-of-province inspection. Um, I typically throw the cars up on the hoist, um, have a good visual inspection of the car, make sure everything's nice and tight um, before we do the out-of-province inspection so I can alleviate any issues that come in. Um, this car's been inspected already. Uh, I'm just taking the test drive here with the video for YouTube. but. Uh, um, it has passed inspection. We installed daytime running lights in the vehicle, uh, made sure all the headlights are compliant, and uh, the car needed new tires, which we installed. Um, what else can I tell you about? Uh, it's really all it needed. Um, this was a fairly easy car to run through out of province inspection. Like I said, it's been well maintained in Japan. Um, it's one reason why you want to buy a good grade car. Typically um, a grade 4, grade 4.5 grade car in the auctions will kind of save you money in the long run. You might get a 3.5 cheaper, but a lot of those cars, they're 3.5s for a reason. They've been sitting um, around in Japan, maybe getting weathered. Uh, they've been sitting on a dealer lot possibly. And yeah, the car's cheaper, um, could use a little bit of touch-up for aesthetic reasons, but uh, along with that goes just the overall care of the car. It wasn't cared for as well as possibly a grade 4 or 4.5 would have been. Um, a lot of times you end up having to replace parts on those cars, and what you save in the auction, maybe a thousand or two thousand dollars, 
it's always best to put that in to the vehicle uh, at the auction, buy a better car than taking your chances and hopefully getting a cheap one. You're most likely going to be putting more money into that car once it arrives uh, in Canada here. And uh, we all know that, you know, it's expensive to fix cars. We do our best uh, at Zen to help you out. I mean, if there's something that I can do to install it, as opposed to a mechanic, um, I definitely will. And uh, we can take it back to the inspector and um, have the car passed um, with them visually seeing that the new part is in. Uh, for instance, tie rods or uh, brake service, brake pads, rotors, those kind of things. Um, common wear issues on these vehicles. Thanks everyone for coming along for the test drive. We will see you next time.